Want to hear the absolute worst argument for transgender theory? Here it is. What do you have to say for people who don't fit in your definition of man or woman? I'm a biologist. Mm -hmm. I understand the biology. Are you saying that a woman is only a person who has two X chromosomes and a man who is someone who only has an X and a Y chromosome? So right out the gate, this woman wants to challenge Frank's definition of a man and woman by giving him an intentionally incomplete biological definition of a man and a woman. So she's kind of laying the groundwork for the perfect gotcha moment. I think that's the scientific definition, yes. It's actually not. And there it is. Because there can be people with XXY, there can be Y chromosome mm -hmm. inactivation. You can be a woman with female genitalia and be XY. Yeah, intersex people exist. But for some reason, people will argue that this fact somehow validates transgenderism. Well, when you do have a truly intersexed person, at, at that point, either the parents or when they're old enough, they can decide which way they're going to orient themselves and they can get the appropriate surgery. But that's not what we're experiencing so in our culture. It's okay for people to decide their gender. In that situation, but that's not what we're talking about in our culture. Here's the problem. I'm trying to argue that because intersex people exist, this somehow validates the idea that a perfectly normal male or female can choose to be the opposite sex is completely illogical. It makes about as much sense as a white woman like me trying to argue that I was really an Asian woman trapped in a white woman's body. And to prove my point that race is nothing more than a social construct or a choice, I highlight that biracial people exist. The fact that intersex people exist at a rate of roughly one out of every 450 people has nothing to do with the fact that currently one out of every 72 teenagers in the USA are identifying as transgender. So to all the biologists out there, please stop trying to use a biological anomaly to validate a psychiatric and social issue.